Hey guys, Mike with Iceberg Gaming. Today's World of Warcraft Gold Farming Guide video is another gold farm that is good for both Retail Shadowlands and TBC Classic. Now, TBC Classic players, you are not going to be able to solo this beginning part. Uh, if you want to get a group together to farm this, that would work fantastic. But otherwise, stick around to the end. I'll show you your route. This farm takes place in the Underbog, which is part of the Coilfang Reservoir uh, in Zanger Marsh on Outlands. So you're going to uh, fly to the Coilfang Reservoir, swim down the pipe, and then once you get to the meeting area, you will take a right. We are running this instance on Baroque mode for increased loot. If you are doing this farm as a druid, do not use your teleport to Moonglade at the end, as when you teleport Moonglade back, it will take you to the closest town instead of right back to the instance. As always, first off, I'm going to show you guys the route that I take. And then we'll go over the results, and after that I'll show the TBC Classic players the place that they can solo farm this. So we are just going to start killing all the trash in this instance. We are going to kill everything up to the first boss. And uh, you need Burning Crusade or Outland Herbalism for this farm. You can also bring uh, either Mining or Skinning. Either one will increase your gold per hour. I'm taking a right here at the first turn. I am herbalism skinning all these bog lord guys, and I am picking all of the flowers and mining all the ore. We're just going to kill everything here. Make sure you've got your dark moon fire water to increase your skinning slash herbalism speed. After we get that first bog lord, we'll take another right and go over, or I'm sorry, a left and go over and take care of these, this little group here. Grab this ancient lichen. And our sprint is back up, so we'll pop that. Come over here into this corner. Sometimes there is a mining node here. We're always on the lookout for mining nodes because we're hoping for corium, as corium is very expensive. And then after that, we're going to head back this way towards the ramp. And once we hit the ramp, we are going to not going to go up the ramp first. First, we are going to take a right here and go around the back way, killing this bog giant. And then this group here, grabbing the herbs along the way. And this is a good time for a soul shape if you've got it. As you can auto attack the bog lords or bog giants in soul shape and it kills them. And we're going to head up the ramp. You can skip these last two if you uh, want to go a little faster, but I generally like to kill the Bog Lords as they generally have the best chance of getting the prime uh, modes of life. I'm going to grab this herb and then this, this turn is complete. So I'm going to stop that real quick just to, to go over one more thing. If you would like, you can go continue along this path and kill these remaining Bog Giants. You'll get a few more uh, modes of life that way. But it will take you longer to get back out to reset the instance. As I said earlier, you cannot teleport to use teleport to Moonglade as it will not take you back to the entrance. So I recommend you stop here and head back out. As you can see uh, from our loot appraiser, our gold per hour value on this farm is fantastic. And it's actually going to be on the low end of, of uh, actual the actual gold amount you're going to get because I checked my auction house before starting the run and primal lifes are actually selling for much more than motes of life so at the end of the run we're going to convert all of our primal our motes of life to primals and that will increase our gold per hour now I'm going to finish this run for another probably 20 minutes and then I will report back with our final result we just wrapped up our farm at about 20 minutes and a 
net value, net loot appraiser value of 26,440. That gives us a gold per hour value of just under 80,000, which is fantastic. Of the specific item we were farming for, the motes of life, uh, we can increase. Uh, we got a approximate value of about uh, 2,500 gold, and we can increase that to about 11,000 by converting them all into primal lives. So that gives us, and that means we increase our market value by about 8,500 for this 20 minutes, which increases our gold per hour by about 25 and a half thousand gold, which means we weren't earned over 100,000 gold. Per hour in this farm which is fantastic now if you are a tbc classic player or a retail player that just wants to keep farming after hitting your daily lockout of the instance i'm going to show you where to go you have three choices and they all take place here in zangarmar the first one takes place here and you will be farming bog lords and fungal giants the second one takes place here in the spawning glen where you will be farming starving bog lords the third location is here in the dead mire where you will be farming withered bog lords and withered giants that's going to wrap up this video i've got more tbc classic and shadowlands retail farms coming at you so don't forget to subscribe so you're notified when they are released thank you so much for watching see you next time